Good morning, YouTube. It is I, the new me in 2010, coming at you with another video. Let's go. It's a haul, I believe. Your girl could not sleep last night. So, I guess I can't nap for about three hours. But, I got up. Hit the ground running at 6.15 this morning to get this deal. What is today, everybody? Just what is today, everybody? It is Kendo Day! Yes, I'm crazy. I was one of the ones that got up. Did not realize the store I was going to Opened at 6 this morning, but I was there by 7 o'clock, and I was out by 7.35. So, of course, it's bed, uh, Bath and Body Works, Candle Day, one of my favorite days in December. Uh, I try to catch them when they on sale, because these candles... They're three wick candles, a regular $24.50. Today they were $9.50. And I had a 20% off coupon. So that brought them down to like $7.60 a piece. Now, a lady, two, two people ahead of me, was using a retail me not coupon. I had the same 20% off retail midnight coupon. The lady was telling her that they did not accept retail midnight coupons because they are not affiliated with retail midnight coupons. And that she would take it this time, but in the future they wouldn't. I said, hmm. Little sour puss Becky. Sweetie. Uh, the young lady had no problem using my retail, I mean, not 20% off coupon. I didn't get that song and dance from the young lady who checked me out. <laughs> uh, she politely couldn't scan the code. She keyed the code in for me, and it took it. So, we were in business. So, I have my Black Cherry Marlowe. I love it, love it, love it. What else did I get? I love lemon in my kitchen, so I got my limoncello. I got a cactus blossom. This is a new scent for me. It smells good, though. I always burn candles in my house. So I got two chimp, uh, lemon, here's another limoncello. I bought 10 of these. Yeah, can you? Mm-hmm. But I won't have to buy candles for a while. That was a new one. Let's see. Here's another black cherry Merlot. So let me put the match ones together. Let's see. And then I store these in my linen closet. So when I need a candle, just pull it on out. Because I always try to catch their candles on sale. The last time I caught candles on sale, there was a one wick that they had for like $4.95. Oh, my other favorite is the mahogany teak wood. I burned that downstairs. Because that's the man cave. Champagne toast. Mm, it's another, it smells really good. I think that's a new one for me. I haven't tried that one before, but it smells really good. Then I bought two of the Relax. It smells good. I usually get the stress relief one, but I want something different. And this smells really good. So I bought two of these. Okay. Here's my other mahogany teak wood. I just have to keep smelling it. Uh, and what's the other one? Yep, the other relaxed candle. So, 
the Relax, the Champagne Toast, and the Cactus Blossom. Those are two, three new scents for me that I have never tried before. But, yeah. So, and then they gave you these cute little, they put them in these little crates like this for you. And then this reusable tote. I'm a bag lady, so I like bags. As if I needed another one. That was my first stop this morning. Had to, had to. So, my second stop will seem like my every Saturday stop was Sam's Club. I bought bottled water. Um, as we speak of bottled water, I need a bottle. Uh, about two cases of bottled water. The Sam's I went to today, I know my normal Sam's has the 40 count of the purified water for $2.99. And I buy them two cases at a time anyway. This particular one had 45 count of the purified water for three 36 so a little bit more for five more bottles who cares i bought 90 bottles of water today i'm gonna drink it anywho uh the other thing i got at sam's uh -oh. i didn't buy too much at sam's today I bought these little B12 energy fizz. I've tried them before. One of my former co-workers introduced me to those. I take B12 anyway. But my energy level has been uh lately. I said, let me get some of this and see if this will help. Because it's B12 energy. I said, let me see if this will help. Because it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So I bought this. It was on... Um, instant value for 15 something. Oh, uh, then I picked up some cheese. It has Irish cheddar cheese, French mental cheese. Fontana cheese and Dutch Gouda cheese. That's little snacks or cut them, put on your salad or whatever. And then I bought some sweet kale vegetable salad. You know, with all this romaine stuff going on, I'm not trying to eat romaine lettuce at all right about now. So it's either this, shredded cabbage, or spinach. And I like this. I don't use the little packet that's in here. I just like the little mix. And I'll do ranch dressing or I'll use an Italian dressing. It doesn't matter. And then, they had these on instant value. I love Gouda smoked Gouda cheese. Let me see how many cards is in this no carbs so uh i use this when i make regular macaroni i use it when i make cauliflower mac or whatever or just slice it with a piece of lunch meat or pepperoni or salami so besides water that's all i got from sam's then of course you can't go to sam's and not go to wally world so we took a little trip. Stop number three was Wally World. Now, I was looking to buy eggs and Sam's. The 36 count of eggs I normally buy. This particular Sam's was five dollars and fifty some cent. I left it there. Went to Wally World, got 36 eggs for three dollars and some change. Uh, that's more like it. 
I got some mushrooms. These baby cucumbers. Now, I usually get my lunch meat from the deli, but today I just picked up a bag of this because the deli wasn't open because I was in while they were early. Okay. And when I want something like chips or something, I always keep pork rinds in the house. Because what? They are low carb. Okay. Then. Now. I need a little yogurt in my life every now and then. So I try to find the best yogurt I can that does not have a lot of sugar. I was looking for that too good yogurt, but they didn't have it in plain or in this size at all. They only had the individual and it was flavored and I just wanted plain. So I got the Chibani whole milk plain Greek yogurt. It's like that good, better, best. Get something that's loaded with carbs. Mm -hmm. Three-fourths cup has seven carbs in it. Four grams of sugar. Let's not eat three-fourths cups of it. Let's eat less than that. Okay? But just a little yogurt every now and then is not going to hurt nobody. All right. Before my camera dies, I picked up some more zucchini for me to eat and to make some more loaves. I posted my zucchini bread online yesterday and I got people want zucchini bread. Okay. One of the easiest, simplest thing to make is zucchini bread. Go feed. Then of course I got some bell peppers. You can never have too many bell peppers. Uh, I might make some cashew chicken, but I forgot to pick up my cashews. So we might have to run out while we're out tomorrow and pick up cashews. Okay. That's the last thing I got from... Oh, and then the non-grocery item I picked up was some little cute little... Red and black plaid leggings for the holiday. Wear with a black sweater or a red sweater and some boots. There you go. So our next stop was Michael's. Was it our, yeah, that was our next stop. So they had their gingerbread houses on sale for $7.98. So I picked up one for to do with my goddaughter. We're supposed to make cookies on the Saturday before Christmas. So she's supposed to come over here and we're going to make do sugar cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and do this gingerbread house. That's if my little girl don't have an attitude, child. She moody at six. But... Love her nonetheless. We're going to snatch the mood out of her. All right. And since I've been doing a lot of baking, I picked up some more baking supplies. Uh, a three-pack icing cones. So you can make different little ridges. These different ridges when you're icing you can't, I have the flat one already. This is regular $15.99. Chia, I had coupons. We don't pay full price for nothing. This was the item I got 40% off. So. Then I bought these little treat boxes. So I'm going to make up some treats. And... Put a little bow on them for Christmas. 
all these people who begging for cakes and breads and candies of that nature. Merry Christmas. So I bought two of those because I already have a pack of those. Then I bought some decorating bags. And then I bought a batter dispenser because I'm going to make some cupcakes. And instead of making a mess, and you get the right amount in each cupcake, I bought that. I've been eyeing that for a while. I bought some more cookie cutters. This is an ornament. And a reindeer. Some cupcakes, some Christmas snowflakey cupcake holders. And then, of course, the girl bought her a journal with brave wings. She flies. So, this is going to be my baking create journal. Uh, when I'm price, trying to price stuff out or things I want to make, make a list of things I want to test out and make or whatever. Uh, that, and then I got wrapping, four rolls of wrapping paper from Michael's. So I had a 40% off, which I got 40% off of this. And then I got 20% off, $20 off of 50. So I got all of that stuff for $44. I don't think that's bad. My next stop, which is not food or baking related, I went to Catherine's looking for foundation garments. Catherine's is a plus size store. Hmm. They don't sell foundation garments in store anymore. You can only get them online. So they don't sell slips. They don't sell what my mom will call them girdles in store. This was the look I had. Why? We can only order them online. I'm going to check Lane Bryant. I haven't been in Lane Bryant in a while, so I'm going to check Lane Bryant. But they're owned by the same company. So it makes me wonder, do they still sell foundation women's in the store? Do they think people are not wearing them that much anymore? I don't know. What's going on? Can somebody tell me? Well, thank God. I keep a supply of foundation garments, so I'm not hard pressed for some. But, you know, you like to, you out and about, you got coupons, you want to pick up stuff. So, I couldn't pick up what I really went to get, but I did. Your pantyhose. <laughs> it's cold. And my daddy would tell me, girl, put something on them legs. So I had to put, stock up on some pantyhose to wear to church. You know, it's winter time. Any other time, I wouldn't care. They had buy four, get one per free. So and then I'm a perks member. So they ended up being five dollars a pop. But they don't sell. What I was really looking for. A slip? Do people not wear slips anymore? Can somebody help me with that too? Why I got to go online to buy a slip? Why do I have to go online to buy a girdle or a foundation garment? Now you got all the bras in the world. But then you tell me to go down the road to tour it. I said forget all y'all today. I'm done. Then my last and final stop for today was this little spice shop my friend told me about. Y'all know I like to cook. 
I like to experiment. And you know, when I was cooking for Thanksgiving, I didn't have any sage. So, I got a half an ounce of sage for 89 cents. 89 cents. Then, I bought a fish herb seasoning. It says, sprinkle on fish before grilling or broiling. Contains onion, vegetable oil, mm, garlic, and spices. An ounce for 99 cents. Just to try something out. You know, good, better, best policy in my house. Then they had a Cuban Mojo Spice Blend. I think this would be good on some pork. Two ounces for a dollar sixty-nine. Now I know I got to be careful with these blended seasonings and all of that stuff. Your girl like flavor. I like to cook. A little bit every now and then won't hurt anybody. Then got some good old cayenne. I was running low on cayenne. So we got uh two ounces of cayenne, dollar twenty-nine. I just wanna tell you if I would have went to Pansy, this bag I just bought. Okay, my camera about to die. Hold on. Some more juice. All right. Okay. All right. So had I went to Pansy's, where I normally go to get spices. Let me finish my haul. So we're going to try something different. We got four ounces of black salt. I had to do some research on black salt, but I thought it was interesting. Let's try it out. Then they had gray salt. Anybody ever used gray salt before? Let's do some research and test it out. And then I got some two ounces of white pepper ground. Okay, and I got some hickory smoked salt. Three ounces of it. We're going to test that out. Mmm, that smells good. All of that and this was, it was a little, it had spices on one side, had some baking stuff on one side, and then it's like a little produce market on the other end. So I'm glad my little, my friend turned me on to that. And then we have, so I got some banana flavoring. Now, I'm going to do, try out two recipes with this banana flavoring, keto style. I like banana pudding, but on keto, you cannot have bananas, honey. So, what's the good to do? We're going to find a keto banana pudding recipe. And instead of using bananas, we're going to use this banana flavor. And then we're going to find a keto recipe for banana bread. What are we going to do instead of using bananas? Banana flavor. And all this little stuff from the little, little spice produce place, 20 bucks. Had I been at Penzi's, had I been at Penzi's, 
I would have spent easy 50, 60, if not more. So, and it's around the corner from my house. Hmm, I like pansies and all. Don't get me wrong. Not to say I'll never go back. Oh, uh, but it'll be a while. So, that is my haul for today. I'm gonna put this stuff up. Make me some brunch. Straight in my kitchen. Clean out my freezer. Cause that's, I cleaned out the fridge. Now it's time to go through and clean out the freezer because trash day is on Monday. The things we have to do. And then I'm going to try to see if I can go to sleep at some point in time. Because sleep is non-existent, really. I think I went to, I slept about three hours last night. And it's crazy. I'm wide awake. Hmm. And it is 12 o'clock. Will I make it for another two, three hours before I can fall asleep? Will my body decide it want to rest? Hmm. Or am I going to have to stay up so I can sleep tonight? What a conundrum. This is my life. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. God bless. Until I make another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good day. Bye.